One thing that should not be frightening for your Halloween party is your meal prep time. On these gloves. Wait a second. Black gloves for Halloween. They are. He's uh, going to put us to work. Chef Aaron here in the studio this morning with a spine chilling spread that you can throw together this <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> I, just, I, I, don't know, I don't know why this is so giggly for me to put these gloves on. <laughs> so, <laughs> just be calm. So normally I, I Try come relax. in with, uh, with, with recipes and of course they can be expanded on. Today is a little bit more of a... Uh, ideas, so to speak. Okay. So uh, These breads are that's amazing. That's unbelievable. I'm using uh, original uh, yeast dinner rolls. Okay. okay. We have them in our freezer section. You just pop them, pull them out. You can put them in the fridge for a couple days. You can set it on your countertop for a few hours and let it start to rise. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to make it workable. So here, I can do. Can we do some? Take three. Okay. Oh. oh, they're all together now. You take two. See, oh, they're supposed you to be together. Oh, they are. Okay, that, they, that, are. okay. That, they are. Okay, that, okay. That, okay. That, I hold them back and then we're going to mold okay. them, right? All right, so you're going to make a little patty, and what you're going to do, patty. like this, thumbs on top. Oh, I already uh -huh. screwed it up. And you're going to start tucking it under. Tucking it. And this is the process of what you're making is the abdomen and the head, and you want to pinch the bottom. How do we do? How do we do? I did sure mine was here. terrible, but mine's no, no, that's no. okay. See, but what you're okay. doing, you want to do that process, and you're going to tuck it under. And it doesn't matter. You can work it a little bit extra because you're going to let it rest, and oh, you're going to okay. let that you're going to let that proof. And what we use is oh, we and used, then it's going to rise and get bigger. We huh? use uh, six dough balls, or you can use up to eight for the abdomen, and then I use two for the head of the spider. Uh, half a roll <laughs> for each leg, and again, yeah. what what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to stretch it. You're going to roll it. We're getting a little Mark bit. it with a B. <laughs> Put it in the oven. <laughs> <other. laughs> All right. You can do that. Can yeah, you can bring it with a B if you want. There you go. But, and eh, then, eh. how do I do? That's great. So you're, you're uh, ended up, so uh, the same process here is what we're going to do for the snake. You're going to, okay. again, you're going to have to let it rest make. a few times, but I'm going to go around you here. So now what, how'd you make him lumpy and bumpy like that? So that's also what I'm going to show you. I'll take okay. yours. Okay, take it. So uh, let's finish up on the spider. So on the spider, it's a half a roll for each leg. You're mm -hmm. going to stretch it. There's a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and of course you want to egg wash it. That's what's going to give you the color. Wow. Um, and then how cute. I that's use so sliced great. olives for the eyes. So great. And, and then, then you're going to put some dip in there, This huh? is more of a centerpiece, so you want to cut out the abdomen. And I'm using the spicy pimento cheese. Look and you can that. just pop that, Isn't that great? right in the back. So good. So you can cool. tear off the legs like breadsticks if you want. Yeah. Um, so what we have for the snake, again, this is an idea. So the the spider is more of a centerpiece to where the snake is like a stuffed breadstick. So you uh, want to take huh. the dough and you want to stretch it out and you're going to let it rest. You're going to put whatever cheese you want. If you want other filling, for this one, I use the uh, mufaletta oh, olive you put salad. It inside? Oh, and then I just on. roll it up my best. Mm. And what you're going to do throughout the process of uh, giving it texture, you're going to cut it one direction, oh. and then you're going to come back when you go the other direction, and it's going to give it a little bit of texture when it rises. Huh. Uh, so those and are just. It's got those little diamond shapes that's on there. Great. That's going to let some of the. Uh, the air or the uh, the moisture out from the cheese. And, and it kind of ooze yeah. maybe yeah. in some, some of the spots. It's going to give you kind of that crispy, cheesy. For the head, I yeah. just use one roll. And then we have a roasted red pepper. So again, these are ideas. You can do other shapes. You can do other fillings. Sure. Um, you could do that and pretend it was like Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. 100%. That that, you know what I'm talking about? 100%. Yeah. So this is just ideas. You, okay. You, you have these at uh, at hand. They're affordable. They're, mm -hmm. they're definitely not expensive. That's something that'll look awesome in the middle right. of your table. You could make a turkey for Thanksgiving too. You, you, same kind of idea. Sure. So you got some really spooky looking drinks over here too. <laughs> Jen, I feel like yeah, that's so. Tag so in. What, what we have. Uh, <laughs> this is, is my world. So I can I can speak uh, for our neighborhood in particular. A lot of people will go uh, and sit out in the driveway. The driveway. Yes. Uh, and so you'll you'll have a fire. Uh, what these are are warm drink ideas. Oh. So I have apple cider. There's a cinnamon stick. Uh, you can put an orange in there if you want. And then I have uh, bourbon is going to be the best pairing to go with that. Uh, you obviously don't want to put it in glass. The glass will shatter, but just for the visual effect so you can still see it, uh, you want to put it probably in a crock pot on warm. Right. And then the other one is a mulled wine, or as mm. the Germans say, it's a glue vine. Ooh, glue uh, vine. You're going to put the uh, fresh sliced oranges. I used a Merlot. Uh, you don't want to use a good wine for this. You want to use, we'll say a decent right. one. A, an, 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 an everyday one. one. So yeah. I use Black Box. Black Spot. It is in a box, but it's still a good wine mm. for uh, being in a box. But my tip here is a sachet. Sachet, sachet. Yeah. So um, I take the, the mold spices, I'm sorry. Uh, you can grab those from the uh, produce section right now, and then I put it in a coffee filter, 
and I just ah. wrapped it with a rubber band. So what? Oh, that's so smart. So that way you're not going to have the spices inside of Float your drink around. when you're scooping it out. Oh, wow. That's so smart. And I was looking for these the other day and I couldn't find it. So they're in the produce, produce section. section. Yes. Okay, so do the you, mulling spices is what I was looking for. Do you cook it together? Or yeah, so you, you want to let that kind of steep together. You're not going to cook it because you're going to cook off the alcohol. Oh, if you okay. Do that. Uh, but steep, um, and that's going to add the spices to it, and then a little bit of that orange mm. is going to kind of seep in. That's as you go. awesome. If I had a nickel for every time I was looking for mulling spices, <laughs> I'd have a nickel. I would have now one you nickel, know where, just the now one. you know where to find that's them. It. But there, there, is a, there is a wine that's already done, uh, which is brew. Mm -hmm. um, is very similar to what the flavors you're going to get out of that, but oh. the, the fresh orange is going to make it pop. That's cool. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Chef Aaron, we'll put this up on I the website so you can the hear him explain right it again. Just yeah. love it. That's so great. Just love it.